Hello everyone, welcome back. Now let us start with linked asset in collections. I am Professor Dattatre Gandmal from Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. What students will be able to learn? Students will be able to learn and describe linked asset along with various methods available in linked asset. Second, students will be able to do a program using linked asset in collections. If I come to the description part of linked asset, linked asset works on the principle of uh, ash table. It is based on the interface set. Contains a unique elements again. As uh, we have seen in ash table, same again in linked asset also it will contain unique elements. It will not allow the duplicate elements into ash set. It provides operations like set and permit and it allows null operations, null elements. It is non-synchronized and it is again going to maintain an insertion order. Because it is a linked list, it is based on the linked uh, list properties. So uh, even if uh, ash table will come into picture, that can be connected using this uh, linked list. Therefore, it can maintain an insertion order. The way you insert, the elements can be stored in that particular manner only. That can be achieved only because of linked list. These are popular ways uh, that can be created for linked asset. Asset, asset collection, linked asset and linked asset. Okay, these are the four ways that can be created. Fine. So here you can see that this is for default and second one is uh, you're passing some collection of other element and third way is you're giving some capacity to it and fourth way you are giving the capacity as well as the fill ratio how much should be the fill ratio so these values are provided so all these constructors are available in linked asset okay let us uh, quickly start with the program coming to eclipse so let us create one more program let us try to close this the previous one new class linked ash demo you can name anything i can create an object using link sorry linked asset think i'll give the take the elements as string or i'll take an integer value just for change integer list one equal to new linked asset of type integer so list one dot add you will be adding let's say any number of elements let's say i'm adding 10 list one dot add 20 list one dot add 30 so i'm adding three elements into it you can use uh, both ways now like if i use a for each loop for int i in list one sys out if I put i over here, it will be iterating uh, incrementally. 10, 20, 30. Remove this for loop. Use a while loop. While. Uh, I'll be using an iterator for this. Iterator. Of type. Integer it equal to list one dot iterator mm -hmm. iterator will start pointing over here then we'll have this method it dot as next if it is having an element it is going to print it so sys out it dot next is going to print if a element is present at the next location let us see Yes, 10, 20, 30. It is working fine. 
now let us try to do it on duplicate elements list one dot add 20 let us try to add 20 once again let us see whether 20 is accepted or not if i run it i'll keep intact everything as it is only i'm adding one more line list one dot add if i try to print the output is 20 is coming only once which is already inserted so every time this particular uh, collection types asset and linked asset is going to check whether that element is already present. If that element is already present, it is not going to take the duplicate element into the collections. That's an important property. So now, when you are aware with uh, array list, link list, asset and linked asset, you can see that array list allows duplicate, asset doesn't allow duplicate. So based on application need, a collection should be chosen. It should be picked based on the application. Let's say you want to store database for all other cards of uh, the country. If you want to store the prepare a database of all other cards available in the country, then you should go for asset or linked asset because it will not allow duplicate elements. And other card is unique. If your primary key is based on other card, then you should use asset or linked asset because it will not allow duplicate elements. Whereas if you, are, if you want to store just random names of uh, students in a class, there can be more than one Ankit in a class. There can be many students who, will have, who are having the same name. In that case, you will use array list. So this collection type is going to change as per your application requirement. Sometimes you say that, okay, if you have more insertion operations, go for array list. If you have more searching operations, go for asset. Because in asset, time required to search is minimum. Again, we have seen that uh, in array list, if you have more deletion operations, if you have more deletion operations, go for link list. Because we have seen if there is, if you delete in element in between, array list is going to take more time because it is going to shift all the elements after that. So based on the requirement of an application, you should smartly choose a collection type. Likewise, we have more collection types such as tag, queue. When you want to insert uh, your elements in last in first out manner, you should go for stack. If you want to insert an element on first in first out basis, you should go for queue. Likewise, smartly and a collection type should be chosen. Mostly if you see all my videos, you can see that the methods used are almost the same, but internally the complexity is different and uh, the features are different. Some are allowing duplicates, some are not allowing duplicates. Some are taking more time, some are taking less time. Some are taking more time for searching, some are taking more time for deletion. So likewise, if you, you have to take a judgment, okay, if, I, if this application is there, so let's say uh, office records or employee records are there, what will be there? Most of salary credits will be more, Employee deletion will happen sometimes, not frequently. But if you are taking a customer requirement, customer's database will be deleted regularly, daily basis they will be deleted. So deletion operations are more in that case. So likewise, uh, data set or collection type should be chosen. Okay. Now here, in this case, again, if I want to uh, copy one list to another list, list two, and if I take here 50, 60, 70, 50, 60, 70, okay. Instead of list two, I'll uh, take here, it should be list two, list two, list two. And if I want to copy list one to list two, so it will be list two dot add all list one. All the elements of list one will be copied to list two and here, the iterator will change from list one to list two. Iterator dot as next. Everything will be intact as it is. If I try to run it, the output is 50, 60, 70, 10, 20, 30. It is in the order of insertion. So first 50, 60, 70 is added. Even if you change here, if I put here 75, 60 and 70. So, okay, I'll take 75 over here, 75, 60 and 70 and try to run it. The output will be 75, 60, 70. So it is based on the insertion order purely again if you want to remove an element it will be re list 2 dot remove a particular element let's say you want to remove 60 and try to run it once again 60 will be removed from your list so it it 
collections has made this operations computation operations very easy they are on ease okay in array in if you uh, if you recall uh, array concepts in array doing such operations will take lot of time right so coming back how many ways you can initiate a linked asset the answer is four ways okay these are some methods in uh, linked asset the methods we have already seen while doing the program okay add clear content split iterator and size okay these all methods can be used as per the requirement even as i said you can just do here a dot and you'll get all the list list to dot list to is of linked asset and these all methods are available here the list will come fine as per the requirement you can choose the method and again when you do your list to dot and choose any method you can see its description as well here in eclipse it will give you for what purpose we are using this method okay so these are some of the references